Hi Aaron, I'm Zach, I'm 12 and I need help with my kickflips. Hashtag for skateboarding. Um, that's my ollie. It's pretty decent. Um, I like it though. Front 780. Uh, my front 780 and my back 780 do a bit of work, I reckon. Yeah, and then my pop shove it. I really like my pop shove it. I can do down two step. Fakie front shove. I can either them fakie or stationary. Um, front side 270. And I can flange it one heel flip. Here are my kick flips. Um, that one, I'm really close and I'll review that kick flip later. And then, yeah, these just, these kick flips can get, these are just my common problems. And, yeah, they just get a bit annoying and I wish I could fix them and that's why I sort of called, well, sent the video to you. My kick flip position is about the same as yours, but I just tilt my foot a lot more. And then, uh, but here's my review on my kick flip, like, how I do it and everything. So, I like pop, I flick, rocket flips, I hate that. And then I saw land, my back heel just touching it. Thanks. Hey man, so thank you so much for sending your video. I really do appreciate it. Cool, I love the fact that you reviewed it yourself and you watched it over and you could see kind of some things you were doing good and some things that you could use to improve upon. So yeah, that was awesome. Yes, that first kickflip, I mean, you basically landed that. Yes, it's going rocket, but hey, let's look at some of the plus points first. Some of the points you're doing very, very, very well at. Your flick looks pretty good. You're keeping your front foot above the board. Um, the board is doing a rocket flip, meaning like as it's flipping, the nose of the board is much higher than the tail, and I'll cover that a little bit later and tell you how to handle that. But for now, the flick is good in terms that your front feet, actually both of your feet are above the board, which is incredible. It's very, 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 very good to have it like that. That's exactly where you want it. And the other thing is that, yeah, your feet are jumping high and you're going up above the board and the board is spinning underneath you. A few of the times it almost looked like you were just purposely taking your back foot off and flipping the board, which is fine, and that's a totally fine practice step to do. But yeah, in terms of just getting um, that back foot on, sometimes it just takes a little bit more of commitment. So yeah, like you said, your front side 180 and your back side 180 could use a little bit of work. Uh, if I were you, I would just, I'm gonna give you kind of like a whole like program, a whole series of steps. So. First step is skate as much as possible. If you can skate every day and you can practice every day, it helps to improve your skating so much. I'm personally trying to get out there and skate every day, which I haven't really been able to do because I've been so busy making these videos and other things for you guys. But yeah, if you skate every day, it just seems that your ability to do the tricks just increases by a lot so skating every day and then every day you go I want you to do every single one of those tricks you can even put it together a little routine where you do them five times like five ollies five front side 180s five back side 180s five pop shove five front shove um, you skip the heel flip that's fine you said you did land a heel flip before that's fine you can roll right into kick flip after that now the next thing on the kickflip that I want to work on is watch my front foot right here. It goes forward and then it pops right there and it just flicks a little bit more forward and that's how you handle it to not go rocket. And actually when you handle it to not go rocket it will flip much well more level underneath you and it's easier to catch and land it more level because watch my front foot right here again flick out almost directly off the nose and then the board spins and it almost spins right up into my back foot. So if your board goes right into your back foot and then you just automatically catch it, like you basically have already landed the trick just by doing a proper flick. So yeah, in order to get rid of that rocket flip, you have to flick more out off the nose then just give it a nice solid flick just but yeah, again, you are super, 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 super close. I know you're going to have great kickflips down in no time, so definitely keep it up. Any of you guys looking to master the basics, get Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. They're all available at BrailleSkateboarding.com and on iTunes as iBooks. Um, personally, I think the iBook is the best way to go, so check it out. I know you will love it.